Penny mit dabei. Und er ist einer seit Jahren, der es liebt, auf großen Bühnen zu spielen. So eine kleine Rampensau. The Electric Jerry Hendrix. Well, uh, he's enjoying himself. And continues to do so. At some point, Jerry Hendricks will remember he's got a game at the European Darts Open here in Leverkusen to contest, but for now, he's that bloke at the wedding who's on the dance floor before the DJ's even started. Jerry Hendricks, back in Euro Tour action against a man making his debut on the Euro Tour, Christian Bunser. The host nation qualifier looking to make it through to the second round and join fellow German, Stefan Siebmann. We know another German's going to join them, either Robert Allenstein or Dragutin Horvat, who face off in the penultimate game of the night. But Christian Bunzer, a 22-year-old, making his debut here, very nearly made it to one of the Euro Tours earlier this year. He was only beaten in the deciding game in qualifying in a deciding leg by Germany's number two, Martin Schindler. I'm Dan Dawson, and come to your box of this one. Alongside me is Chris Murphy, and Chris, you know more about Christian Bunzer, don't you? I know something about Christian Bunzer. Yeah. I know that he's beaten the German number one before, Max Hupp. Mm. Bunzer did appear in the Development Tour event that was held here in Germany Thank earlier this year. First flag is Christian to throw first. He won. Or Development Tour events, four played over a couple of days, and... Got a couple of wins, one against Justin Bradshaw in a prelim, and then a first-round victory against Max Hopp. That was the only time in those four days he what got through to the second round. Well, Christian Bugzer has a career average of 140 on the European Tour, which smashes all records set by even the great Michael Van Gerwen. 16. Well, Jerry Hendricks with a ploy of getting the crowd on his side because as much as they want to cheer for Christian Bunzer, nah. they also want to sing that song for Jerry Hendrix. Had it been a game 25. of musical statues, Hendrix would have lost a long time ago <laughs> because you're supposed to stop when the music finishes playing. Yeah. Yeah, well, it? Jerry Hendrix is perhaps the only person I have seen who has given Peter Wright a run for his 62. money in a pre-game walk-on dance-off. Big yeah. Devon's had a go. You get to see Big Devon on the Euro Tour for the first time this year. Final game of the night, Devon Peterson. 85. Against the mouth of the South, Richard Nord. Yeah, that was on the biggest stage of all, Alexandra Palace, when Jerry Hendricks lost out to Peter Wright in the first round, having seen off Warren Parry in the prelim. He said he felt like a fish after that contest. And had the boys in the TV studio in stitches, didn't he, after that? Yeah, it was a... Uh Curious turn of phrase from the Dutchman. I'm still not sure we've worked out what he meant. No. 91. But it's all good fun. The first leg has not been much fun so far for him, though. No. Bunzer, down to 130. No, well, there's sort of shades of... 16. Remember James Richardson, who walks on stage to Vindaloo by Fat Les, and at times has been so shattered that he ends up losing the first two legs. But bullseye now for Bunce. Does he go for it? No. no. Oh, come on, Christian. Oh, he's too wise for that. Let Jerry Hendricks be the showman, and I'll just plod away. Christian, you're 32. This for a first leg on the Euro Tour. 
And there is the number 16. Well, early signs suggest that the German, Bonzo, only 22 years old, he's a, an engineer of sorts. 83. He may be a decent little player, a cracking little player, to borrow a phrase. A cracking little player! 25. But he got interested in darts. Back in 2007, the first game of darts he ever watched was that world final, that famous world final. Oh, a couple of cracking little players involved in that, weren't there? Certainly was. Neither of them here. No. Bill Taylor and Raymond Van Barneveld, 21 world titles. 100. Between. Not a bad way to start. I can understand how that would inspire you to take up the game. The second game of darts he watched was apparently the 2008 world final. Oh. Just an annual thing, then. Yeah, and I heard someone 16. cruelly suggest that when he saw Kirk Shepard make it to the world final, he thought, well, I could have a go at this. <laughs> the someone shall 42. remain unnamed. But started messing around playing darts at home with his sister. Mm-hmm. And only for the last couple of years, really, has he been competing in any kind of proper competitive matches, playing in the same team as Mike Langendorf. Yeah, Mike Langendorf, one of three Germans to hold tour cards, along with Max Hopp and Martin Schindler. But the early stages of this one, Bunso, he's averaging in the low 90s. This will be, well, be a way to introduce himself. Ooh. Wooden tits. Won't it? Oh, He's what a shot from Christian, Christian Bunsen. A 1 4 5 checkout to land a hammer blow to Hendricks early on. My word, what an introduction! Christian Bunsen absolutely dominating the opening leg and then stealing a break with a 1 4 5. My word, and you would think he's just it double what ten. Or something. He's it, no betrayal of how much this means to him or what he's going through his head, or if he is, you know, feeling the adrenaline coursing through his veins. He is just ice cool, Christian Bunser. One hundred and fourteen. Yeah, superb shot. From the stony faced youngster looking to make his mark in the professional game and he has certainly made a few people sit up and take note already. Two legs in to his European tour career. It was only last night that he booked his place in this tournament. 95. Beating the likes of Renny Items and Bernd Roy. Well, some experience there. We saw Rene Items last week on the European Tour. Admittedly, he went out first round, but 96. took a heck of a display to stop the queue. Fifty-eight. Just the fifty-eight. Advantage Bunser in this leg. The throw looks good. It doesn't look like there's anything that could go majorly wrong with it from the first look at it. The well, temperament certainly seems there, and there's no little skill. 74. Certainly not. 1-4-5 in the last leg. 1-1-3 one, one, should be an absolute piece of cake. Not quite that simple. 81. But he got... The next Getting best the prize, which is leaving double 16. And Hendricks has to hit back for a three-figure checkout of his own, and he's not going to do it, so Bunser on the brink of a 3-0 lead. 56. Well, he hasn't missed a dart at a double yet. 32. Will that continue? No, it won't, but it won't matter if he sees it off in either in the next two. 16. First chink in the armour of Christian Bunser. Hendricks has to exploit it. 
Well, they weren't a million miles away. Affordable mistakes at this stage. Hendricks cannot afford mistakes now. He's found the treble to leave himself double 12. And he's pinned it. 78 out. Every bit as valuable as that 145 from his opponent. And an immediate break back for Jerry Hendricks, the Dutchman. Looking to set up a second round clash with the number 12 seed, Davil Gurney. Now, I believe that the crowd here in Leverkusen are giving it uh, the Bunsen Brenner, which is Bunsen Burner. 59. Which, if he hasn't got a nickname, I don't think he does, Christian Bunsen. I think he may have just been given one. It's not a bad one. I like it. Well, he has been on what fire in the early exchanges. But those three missed darts for a 3-0 lead could prove to be pivotal in this one. Yeah, will he have burnt out too soon? 41. Very Hendricks. On the World Youth Cup. 14 years ago. Half a lifetime, Jerry Hendrick. Well, half his current lifetime. I'm not suggesting that he's going to drop down dead tomorrow, but 28 years old now. Is Jerry Hendrick still going under the nickname of Hot Dog? I believe it's Electric now, which 100. is better, if you like. I mean, a, a Hot Dog was distinctive. I remember when he played the World Championship under that moniker. As Bunsa fires in the first 180 of his Euro Tour career and leaves a finish as well. And having taken out the 145, a 161, it's upping the ante for he to do it. Imagine having fired in a 180 if he could follow it up with a 161 checkout. Well, you'll have to imagine he's not going to do it right now. Great last time, Christian Bunsen, and there's pressure on this. Jerry Hendricks, well, he's being forced to take out a ton plus checkout just to hold his throw. If he does do that, we've got a level game. And you would think the momentum is with a Dutchman. It's good. One dart. And it has to go. And it doesn't. Mission requires 60. So to break back, double top has to step across. Good guide for the top corner. 40. Cannot find the double. Now what Getting Jerry Hendricks 40. did in the previous visit, kind of hypnotised the crowd into settling down. He took his time and you could see them just all sit down and quiet down behind him. Doesn't need to do it this time, they're already sat down. But he's taking his time. You get a feeling he knows how big this leg could be. And he finds the target and levels up the match. Well, five darts missed in total by Christian Bunser over the last couple of legs. He will be thinking, I could be 4-0 up here. 140. But a decent start to this leg. Still very much in the balance, this one. Well, he's got the look of a man who doesn't look much like he's worrying about what's gone before. He just seems to get on with it, doesn't he? He just seems to be concentrating on what's ahead of him, not behind. Well, I mean, it's already a massive thing for him to have qualified for this. I mean, his grand, grand total of earnings from darts prior to today was 50 quid. It is now currently at 1,050 quid. Hendricks looking to fill it up, and One does do so, that's his first maximum. Is he just growing into this game, Jerry Hendricks? 57. Oh, yes. Eight. 
94. He disappointed after that first dart, but he is down to a finish first. Chance to go into the lead for the first time in this one, Jerry Hendricks. 100. Well, the Jerry tour Ricard, 160. gets Bunter down to a similar finish. What do you say? It's advantage to Jerry Hendricks with the break of throwing prospects. Looking for four 19s. Only manages two. And Bunter will get and a shot at 104. Christian Ricard, 104. And I took out 145 earlier, since then he's missed five darts at double, but he should get another dart at double, and he does, it's double 16. Yeah, it's another top plus for Munson Burner, he's cooking on gas, 3-2. Well, when the first dart hit the treble, treble 18, Game on. I did worry that it was risky to stay there. But he managed to lob it over the top and leave what seems to be his favourite double. And he's really taking this match to Jerry Hendrix. Bunce's winning legs have been in 15, 15 and 16 darts. And were it not for those various missed darts at double, I mean, I know you can't expect somebody to go and hit the double first time every time, but he could have got at least another leg, maybe the pair of them that he's lost, and his average would be, instead of the low 90s, somewhere up in the mid to maybe even high 90s. 125. And Jerry Hendricks has a real game on here. He thought he was just going to turn up and steamroll of a 22-year-old lad playing his first time on a big stage. He is very much mistaken. 58. But look, nobody <laughs> quite knew what to expect from Christian Bunzer. Not me, not you, Dan. Not even Paul Nicholson, our expert in the commentary box. No. And certainly not Jerry Hendricks. No. And I guess that's a difficult position to be in. It is, and a lot of players will talk about the... Sometimes it's better the devil you know. Sometimes they'd 59. rather face an established and maybe informed player. Just they've played, they know exactly what to expect. I mean, it's not as if Bunce is doing anything out of the ordinary up on stage. There doesn't seem to be any tactics or anything like that. But you just don't know what his capabilities are. And I think that 145 was a little signal to... Jerry Hendricks, that they may be significantly 16. higher than he Jerry may have given him credit 17. for. Well, Jerry looking for a 70 checkout, but he's got time on his side. Get one dart double in this visit. 30. And it shouldn't matter that he hasn't hit it. Forty-four. Jenny requires forty. Yeah, not a leg that Christian Bunzer will be saving for his scrapbook for his professional career to look back upon. This scrappy book, maybe. Yes. Being shot on the sixth leg. Hendricks kills Jerry it off Hendricks. once more. Like We're level. But Bunzer has the advantage of the throw in the odd-numbered legs, including the decider, if we go that far. 83. It'll be interesting to know what he expects of himself, because one thing that he, I have noticed, and I'm sure our viewers at home as well, is the frustration when he misses sometimes, when he's even been going for the treble 20 and hit a sig single. He has reacted in a way of disgusted at himself for not finding the target. Surprised he didn't find the target that 36. time. Hmm. Now, it's perhaps worth noting as well, I mean, we've not seen a lot of... He's not played a lot of BBC Dark Club, so we don't know 41. what formats he's used to playing in the club he's part of with Mike Langendorf. Obviously, it's best of 11 when he's playing these qualifiers, but he's only played three Euro Tour qualifiers before. Now, he's played more development tour stuff, and they're only first to four legs. But whatever preparation he has done, no matter the formats or anything, it is completely different stepping up and playing this format on this stage in front of 1,000, 1,200, 1,500 fans, however many we've got in this evening. It certainly is. Some players thrive, some fall. 
Bunster, to be fair to him, has probably been doing a bit of both. Been times when he looks like he wants the ground to open up and swallow him, but other times, I mean, the 145 was spectacular. He was already at 180, he's at 104 checkout. He isn't, isn't a bad debut from Bunster, however, oh, he is behind the eight ball now. Hendricks has left to finish. Needs a treble. Oh, gets seven. one, last start Turning in hand. A slightly, very, very marginally more favourable finish than the one his opponent's on because two trebles leave a double rather than a bullseye. But this would go down well, even with a German crowd against a German player. And it might just happen, because he does want the bullseye for the biggest shot of the lot. Bullseye. 145 fractions away. Bunter, two treble twenties for double ten. Well, he's gone the 18s route. Two treble twenties would have left double sixteen. In the end, he hit the treble four. That means the 52. shot was dead ahead of the second dart. And Hendricks to break, to go into the lead for the first time, and to put Christian Bunter in a position he has not been in before and again he takes his time trying to compose himself keep he calm amongst the chaos and he does He's head to head for the first the time first. I, I think a lot of credit has got to go to Jerry Hendricks for the way that he has managed this game he came into it taking on an unknown quantity with some strong and vocal German support in the crowd for his opponent all right, did his best on the walk-on to win the fans over, but Bunser, it, as is always the case, if you go and throw great darts, the crowd will love you and they will cheer you on. As long as you don't give them a reason to heckle you. But he did, he won them over, Bunser, with the quality of his darts. And having gone 2-0 down, and having to deal with the crowd as well, Jerry Hendricks has not only taken the sting out of the crowd, but he's found good enough stuff over the next few legs to wrestle back control of this game. 16. I think that was the perfect expression. He has taken the sting out of the match. Mm. Out of the crowd, he's stopped his opponent in his tracks. I'm not sure if... 16. Hendricks employs this tactic all the time, but he's certainly taking his time before he approaches the hockey and throwing his darts. Yeah, this might be a very wise piece of thinking from Jerry Hendricks just to try and 100. keep things subdued if it gets down to just these two playing the darts Hendricks will think I'm the senior player I'm the one with more experience I can do it I don't want the crowd to be a factor I don't want him to be racing through this game where he doesn't even have time to think about where he is and what how enormous this is for him the longer he has to think about that the more likely it is he'll miss I remember a match about five years ago in the UK Open at the Reebok Stadium in Bolton and Phil Taylor was drawn out against Michael Van Gerwen when Michael was the brand new kid on the block and Phil did exactly this. The crowd were all cheering the Michael Van Gerwen song and Phil just waited and they just kind of bowed at his silent request. And Taylor went and beat Michael Van Gerwen and went on to win the tournament. Well, Jerry Hendricks to strike a major blow in this fight. And it is a major blow that has landed. 5-3 to Jerry Hendricks. He's won three legs on the spin here. He is one away from a meeting with Davil Gurney in the second round. And Christian Bunser, who started this match on fire, has to rekindle those flames if he's going to overhaul Jerry Hendricks here. Well, he won the first two legs. The second of which in sensational style with a 1-4-5 checkout. But now he needs three on the spin if he's going to send Hendricks home. That's pretty neat and tidy stuff, isn't it? 15s and 16s and 17s, only that one leg, the fourth leg. That was a leg where Bunter missed a couple of darts to win it. And it could have been very different if it had gone 3-1. 76. It could have been... I mean, he, he missed three darts in that third leg. Christian Bunzer. 
Yeah, well, Daryl Gurney may have a keen eye on this one. He's taking on the winner tomorrow. One out of fourteen. Great response, this. He's lost three legs on the spin, and Christian Bunter's on an 11 darter here. The Hendricks knows it is the next leg which could be 96. the key one. Fishing your bar, 81. Yep. Might just try and keep a little in the tank. No need for Christian to mess 29. around going for the bullseye at the end of that combination. Hendricks perhaps half mentally preparing for the next leg. 36. And as you said, Dan, that Fishing your bar, 32. possibly would be the crucial one because he'll have the throw for the match. Mm. Bunter has to hit the double first, of course. But he's done that, no problem at all. 13 dart legs for the host Christian nation Christian. qualifier. And Christian Bunter, in his first ever appearance on the European Tour, has won one of the three legs he needs. He needs to find a break of throw. He found one earlier in the game with a moment of magic, a 1-4-5 checkout. He may be forced to do something similar again if he is going to give himself a chance of making this a winning debut. Well, that's an unfortunate first visit because no sign of shakes or nerves in the throw at all, but narrowly missing the treble targets. I think whatever happens in this game, Christian Bunter can come away from this with a lot of credit. I think they both can, to be honest, for different reasons. I was going to say he could walk away with a smile on his face, but we've seen no sign of that yet either. <laughs> Yeah, there won't be many smiles from the first six darts he's thrown in this. 70 points behind Jerry Hendricks, and that lead is about to be extended. Just get a feeling 16. that this pair are feeling how big this leg is. Oh, that is such a... A disappointment from Bunsa. You see, the first dart went in, there were screams in the crowd, he knew it was big. But only six points scored with the next two darts, and he will rue that visit. Oh, yeah, his high scoring visit of the leg, but definitely his worst. Yeah, yeah. Ironically. And again, he's in and around, well, around the trebles without going in them. And Jerry Hendricks has had four visits to the board. He's still not down to a finish. And yet he is still 66 points clear of Christian Bunser. And Bunser knows he could, this is a huge opportunity here. And it's just drifting further and further, very, very slowly out of his reach. But again, there's a chance for him. But he needs to find two trebles. At the very least, he needs to leave a finish of some description. Because we know he's capable of taking out a three-figure checkout, but he's not capable of taking out 200, and Jerry Hendricks has six darts from 1-3-4. Well, this has the feel of a couple of boxers who've gone a whole sort of 11 rounds and are desperately trying to just see it through to the final bell. Hendricks has somehow got there. 81. Bunser should have been closer. He should have left 100 minimum there, but he's made it very, very difficult for himself. Will he get a go at the 1-1-9? Jerry Hendricks again, slowing things down. Now the crowd start to get on his back. The whistle start, the jeers start. Will it put him off? It may do. But it doesn't in the end, and Jerry Hendricks comes to a tough assignment against Christian Bunser, winning it 6-4, but a very encouraging debut from the 22-year-old German. First time on the European Tour, he's only played a handful of PDC events, and certainly this, by far, the biggest of the lot. But just came up short in the end. I think we may see a little bit more of him on the Euro Tour this year and maybe in years to come. But the Bunsen burner out of the European Darts Open. Jerry Hendricks will face Daryl Gurney tomorrow. But two men through to the second round this evening. Six more will join them in the last 32. And coming up, it's a former champion of the world as Christian Kiss, the lipstick, takes on the hypercane Zoran Lurchbacker.
Darf ich Deutsch sprechen? Ja, natürlich. Ähm, war nicht einfach nach einem schwierigen Start. Christian hat erstmal 2-0 geführt. Ja, da hat er gut gemacht. Er ist ein guter Kerl, denke ich. Ich habe noch nie äh, früher gesehen. Aber ja, hat gut gespielt, hat einen guten Check gemacht. Aber ja, weißt du was ist? Dieses deutsche Publikum ist super natürlich. Und die unterstützen natürlich die deutschen Spieler. Das Einige, was sie nicht wissen, ist, dass ich, ich wohne in Venlo, ich habe vor dem deutschen Betrieb, ich kann Deutsch sprechen und ich liebe das Publikum hier. Super Leute, come on! Jerry hat vielleicht auch der erfahrenere Spieler gewonnen, du hast plötzlich den, das Tempo ein bisschen runtergenommen. Ähm, natürlich ein, ein normales Mittel, um auch das Spiel so ein bisschen zu beeinflussen. Ja, muss ich ehrlich sagen, ich weiß nicht, was er war, ich, ich, ich war ein bisschen nervös. Das, das, ja, für mich ist das schon, ich denke, da habe ich ja äh, zurück, dass ich auf die Bühne gespielt hatte. Und äh, ja, ich, ich war nervös, muss ich ehrlich sagen. Gut gemacht, wir sehen uns morgen wieder. Jerry Hendricks, ihn sehen wir morgen wieder.